Wesley Wong. Um, I'm an actor. I grew up in Hong Kong. Um, but it's great to be back in LA because I did my undergrad here at USC, uh, studying business. And after that, um, I found out that maybe my true passion is in film or in acting. So after USC, I went back to Beijing. Not went back, but I went to Beijing because I've never been there. And I didn't actually speak Mandarin back then. So I went there and lucky enough, I got into the Beijing Film Academy, film school. And I did uh, three years of my master's there studying acting. Since I was a kid, my parents actually uh, were stressing a lot about finding my own passion in life. Because they were saying that um, they can help me out with many things. They can take me to lessons and they can tell me love life lessons. But then the one thing that I would, I would have to find out myself is that what I'm interested in life, in doing, like to find my own passion. Because that way then I wouldn't be waking up every morning and be in, 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 miser in, right. in miserable life. Right. So um, that was my, one of my biggest challenges in life is to find my true passion in life. So I thought that I would I had an interest in, in, in finance or in, in business, but then uh, doing all the internships during SC, I felt that I liked it, but then I didn't have that kind of urge or passion that my parents were talking about. So um, at my senior year in USC, my dad actually sat me down to have a conversation with me because he, he was like, oh, so you're about to graduate. What are you going to do? Do you want to stay here and get a job or do you want to go back to Hong Kong? Or do you want to get a master's or what do you want to do? And I was actually pretty honest with him. I was like, um, actually, I don't know. Like, um, I really don't know. So I asked him what he would do if he was me, right? So he was saying that, um, uh, cause he studied in in the states as well. Like he got his, um, he studied pharmacy, pharmacy, pharmacy. He, he was a pharmacist. Yeah. He was a pharmacist for for a bit, and then um, out of chance, he he went back to Hong Kong and became an actor. And then um, now he's a lawyer. But then he was saying that all of throughout the years, throughout all the different careers, he had the most fun or he had the most good times of his life being an actor. So he was saying that um, maybe I might give it a try as well, like if I, I was if I was interested. So I thought, yeah, maybe, maybe that would be a good idea because um, since I, I was a kid, I liked films and like anything to do with like visually on, on TV. So I liked that a lot. So, but I never had the thought of being an actor or being in the film industry. So uh, I didn't study about it. So I was like, sure. Uh, maybe I'll study something about film and see if I like it. So that's how I went to Beijing and got into the film academy and studied acting and that's how it all fell in place. I think they didn't want their career to affect my decision. So since I was a kid, they didn't actually take me a lot on set or to see what they were doing. They wanted me to have like a, a, a normal life as a kid. Yeah. The first movie that I actually did was, um, was a remake of a Korean TV drama which was really successful back in the day. It's called Sorry I Love You. And um, that, this Chinese company bought the rights of this Korean TV drama and made it into a film. So that was my first uh, role in a movie. And that was a pretty eye-opening uh, experience because we shot in Beijing and then they flew us to Vancouver. We shot in Vancouver as well. And yeah, it was just a great, great experience. The first time I got to act in English was um, in a Singaporean film called A Boys to Men, uh, Frogmen, because um, in Singapore they speak Cantonese, Mandarin and English. So that was my first time I had a chance to, to, to act in English. But the first full English role was um, Pacific Rim Uprising. That was my first time acting all in English. I was actually a big fan of the first uh, Pacific Rim movie. and. Um, when they were casting for this role, I actually didn't know it was for this specific movie because um, how I got into it was that they were they came to my uh, management company in China and they just told them that they were looking for an Asian actor who could speak English. And they didn't say it was for Pacific Rim Uprising. So then um, I just did a self-introduction video of myself in English. And then they came back selecting a few actors from my company and then they sent us two scenes that we had to do for casting. And then after reading the script, I found out that it was Pacific Rim Uprising. How did you figure it out? It was Pacific Rim. Um, it had a lot of elements like the Jaegers and then uh, Kaijus and then the character names. And then, yeah, we asked him and then they said, yeah, it's for Pacific Rim Uprising. So did yeah. you have someone like, oh my gosh, will I get it? Can I get it? Or well, it was actually the first time 
I did a tape or self tape for for any sort of Hollywood movie, so I didn't know what to expect. But luckily, that my manager had some experience, so she did the actually she taped it for me. Yeah, I play one of the cadets, so um, we are uh, Jaeger pilots as well. But then we've never been in at the war. We've never been out on the streets fighting the kaiju's. We're just a young bunch of uh, Jaeger pilots who are training in case one day the kaiju's come back to fight us. So um, yeah, I'm a Chinese cadet uh, called Jin Hai, uh, Ouyang Jin Hai. So um, he's one of the cadets, I guess, who's more familiar with the Shadow Dome or the place that we, we stay at because um, the, uh, the story takes place at the Chinese Shadow Dome in China. So being a, a Chinese cadet is probably like half his home. And then um, Jin Hai's parents are also Jaeger pilots. He grew up actually knowing about Jaegers or knowing about the training, being a pilot. So he's dreamed of being a Jaeger pilot all his life. Um, so he's probably been training along, um, has a lot of knowledge about Jaegers, being a pilot. And then so so like when new faces come into the to the um, to the group, like the female lead Amara does, he's the one who goes up to her, greets her, and brings her to the group. Now, how is it working on set um, uh, with, with the director, with the other co-stars and whatnot? Tell us a little bit more about the experience on set. Well, Steven has always been a very nice and friendly person. Like, I've never met a director who's like so patient and so passionate and so enthusiastic about his work. So working with him was like a breeze. Like he, he's very knowledgeable and he, he knows everything throughout this the, the pro process of filming. Like he, he knows every character in and out. He knows the story in and out. He's been working on it for years. So it was very fun working with him and it was actually a very, very pleasurable experience working with him. I was closest with the cadets because that's the group that I had the most scenes with and we were actually training literally every day together for six months during shooting. So we developed a very strong relationship. Like we were actually like cadets because we were training every day and we had the same program every day. We were working in and out every single day. And um, when we went to China for parts of the shooting, it was it was some of the first time in Asia. So um, as like a host, half a host myself, um, we went, I took them to like Beijing, Shanghai, during our downtime to show them around. So they had a good experience and it, it was pr pretty fun for them as well. What did you learn from this experience? What have you learned about, especially a Hollywood film? Well, um, it's probably like the biggest budget production I've ever been in. So um, it was actually very eye-opening for me because of the technology and how experienced and well planned they were because since day one they had everything all planned out like we had all the storyboards we had all the different uh, scene shots all, all planned out every team stunt team costume each department were just, just top yeah. at what they were doing so just working with them was just very very f fun and uh, you guys had any fun uh behind the scenes like anybody your whole cadet team would they play pranks on each other have, yeah we, like what, what kind of what kind of stuff did you guys do like while not filming we had a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs> on and off uh, mostly it was just uh yeah uh well we didn't do any like horrible pranks but then we had jokes we had fun some of them i, I don't think uh might be coming out soon with the behind the scenes uh, footages from, from, from this, yeah. Okay, and then lastly, tell us a little bit more what's, what's going on with you after this. Any any plans to, to do more Hollywood uh, sh uh, movies or are you going back to Hong Kong or what's going on with you? Uh, well, right now I'm working on uh, a TV drama in China. So I just took a break to come over to LA for the premiere for Pacific Rim Uprising. So after that, I'm gonna go straight back into it. And then at the end of the year, um, we're in talks of a, another uh, Hollywood Chinese co-production sci-fi movie, which I'll be lead in. What do you want to say to people that support, that have been supporting you, and hopefully future fans? Um, well, welcome you <laughs> to be my fan. I uh, hope you like what I do as an actor, and I hope you like my films. And uh, I will continue to work hard as an actor to create more different characters and. Uh, yeah. Hey guys, I'm Wesley Wong, and um, you can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Um, just search for Wesley Wong and you'll find me. 
And um, also, please remember to catch me on Pacific Rim Uprising, which will be coming out soon. And yeah, you're watching Pacific Rim video right now.